Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through the classical problems of synchronization which we will be solving using synchronize using our semaphores and all those concepts. Okay, so basically there are three problems. Those are nothing but bounded buffer, which is popularly called as producer and consumer problem and readers writers problem and dining philosopher problem. So in this lectures, we will be going just through the introduction of problems guys. So if you want the solution for these problems, in the uh, link in the description you can find the dropbox link or the website link where you can find the record pdf in record pdf you'll be finding all these uh, programs so don't worry fine okay so the first problem is bounded buffer so in this lecture we'll be going through the bounded buffer okay so that is nothing but producer consumer problem so what is a producer consumer problem i hope everyone knows it so where the producer can only produce the item the consumer can only consume the item producer cannot produce the item when the buffer is full or the storage is full the consumer cannot consume the item when they when the buffer is empty right so there are totally four rules so i hope everyone got the small idea so we'll be using different variables like sema force full and sema force empty fine and sema force mutex initializing initialized with one because if it is one it is free if it is zero it is locked if it is one again it is free in that way and we will be using n buffer so let us go through the rules once again i have just dictated you but let's go through these statements only one should update the value of producer or consumer yeah this is also a single rule we, as we will be using critical section right so before critical section we will be using wait and after that we will be using signal so only one user should access this critical section and when no producer and no and consumer when no pro products sorry it's products guys no products and consumer tries to get or eat the product then it should pop a message that buffer is empty when producer keeps and product and the buffer is full then it should show that buffer is full so you can check the check the program in my record so i hope everyone got a clear idea on this so in the next tutorial we will be going through the second problem that is nothing but readers writers problem thank you thanks for watching